pain into a mission to help others after losing his daughter in a crash. Michael Orbishi is leading a fight to make a busy intersection safe. His daughter was killed at the intersection of Harrison and Rybolt. Local 12's Angela Ingram is live with how he is trying to get the intersection changed. Angela. Well, Paula, Michael Orbishi has collected more than 600 signatures on a petition to try to affect change at this intersection. He says he wants to raise awareness, and he says this isn't just something to preserve his daughter's legacy, but also something that could help save lives. The mental pain and anguish and, and grief, uh, as far as I'm concerned, but I know it's going to last a lifetime. It doesn't go away. Michael Orbishi is turning his pain into a mission, changing the intersection where his 22-year-old daughter, Melissa, was killed. The intersection in itself is very busy. Uh, it's not marked properly. Uh, again, speed is a factor and people's carelessness. Uh, people don't use turn signals anymore. They simply want to beat the lights. Orbishi wants to see changes at New Rybalt and Harrison Avenue. Tuesday, he met with officials and the Hamilton County engineer, along with another family that lost their loved one at the same intersection. Four years ago, Melissa Orbisi was a passenger in her brother's car. He attempted to make a left when the vehicle was broadsided. This movement we're going to try to make protected. County engineer Ted Hubbard says at this intersection, the majority of accidents involve drivers traveling southbound and turning left onto Rybolt. He thinks restricting drivers to turning left only on a green arrow may help. We believe that we want to discuss having a uh, protected uh, left turn arrow uh, direct that traffic only from the southbound uh, left moving into Coles. Orbishi is grateful for the proposed changes and is hoping for more down the road. To keep her legacy alive, but more so than that, knowing that she's not going to be returning in, this, in, in our life, but to make sure no other person uh, is to go through that same situation. The county engineer says that his department has been in contact with the Ohio Department of Transportation. He says he wants to make sure that whatever is done here at this intersection or with this signal does not have a negative impact on the flow of traffic, does not cause any problems with close by signals, and also doesn't cause any problems with the nearby I-74 interchange. Reporting live, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Paula, back to you. Important effort. Thank you, Angela. And since his daughter was killed, Michael Orbishi has also become a driving instructor with AAA to promote safe driving.